Hey guys, Juliana here from Thinking Into Me Squared and today I would like to talk to you um, about my journey, how, um, how my journey started, what my motivation is or was back then and what it is now. So I'm going to take you back to the year 1996, that was for me um, a milestone actually. So I'm going to share a story with you, um, which is uh, for me, looking back um, to, to that year, um, it shows me um, how you can set goals, wrong ones and the right ones. So here comes a lesson in uh, right and wrong goal setting. So um, when I was 15 years old, um, somebody, I don't even remember who it was now anymore, but somebody told me uh, that I had a big bum. And uh, when you are 15 years old, you um, start believing that, or well, I did at that time. I didn't have the confidence I have now. So uh, back then I, I really believed I had a big bum and that it didn't fit uh, to, to the rest of my body. So um, after my birthday uh, in January um, 19, uh, 1996, I started after eating my last uh, birthday cake, I started uh, with a diet and um, I, I weighed 52 kilos at uh, the height of um, 1 meter 63, which is a perfect uh, weight. Um, I had a great looking body, everything was fine, but uh, still I had this sentence um, in my mind. And um, even if it was not true, it kept on being there, stuck in my brain, stuck in my mind. and. Uh, I made my own uh, movie um, that I had a big bum and that I had to get rid of it. So even though it was not true, so uh, I started out with uh, with a diet, uh, and pretty soon I I got uh, results. I um, in in March um, I already had dropped uh, some kilos and I weighed 50 kilos, and then um, I set myself a new goal. And the new goal was to get 40 to 45 kilos then. So um, by April, I think, I had 45. And then uh, the next goal was again to go uh, down to 40. So um, in June, I think, um, I already reached um, 38, 37 kilos. And that's where my parents eventually said, Okay, we're gonna drag you to uh, to the doctor because they did not find any um, other way out. They they were uh, trying to help me all the time and um, telling me, um, well, don't you see that? But I uh, I always thought that um, the people around me they were just uh, jealous of how I look and. Um, jealous of something that they could not reach and I was able and capable of, uh, of, um, of doing. I was so empowered by, um, by the, the strength, uh, the mental strength that I developed, um, dropping so much weight and to actually uh, do it and uh, go through with it. So um, that's, the, I think, the wrong use of willpower. If, um, if it goes against um, good um, body habits, uh, then it's, uh, it's not, not a good uh, goal setting strategy. So um, in the end, I was quite happy that they, they dragged me to the, to the doctor. Although not at that point, I was really furious. I was like, oh my God. Now they're gonna make you eat, and mm, and then you're gonna look fat, and I was not happy at that time. So um, the the story how they shifted my thinking was they they actually had a good trigger. I have to say now, um, looking back at the story, I I can say that um, mm, 
it was a good way uh, to, to save me. So um, they knew my big dream was in that year, uh, in August 1996, I was going to move to, um, to spend the school year abroad in, in Atlanta in the US. So that was my huge uh, dream and that's where they uh, started. They started out um, saying, well, you have to prove to us that you are uh, responsible and that you can live um, abroad taking care of yourself, taking care of your body and, and your mind. So um, in the beginning, when they um, dragged me to the doctors and they, um, they started weighing um, the kilos, then I, um, then I tried to um, cheat. Uh, the first couple of times I, um, I drank some water, a lot of water to, um, to cheat with the weight. But you cannot uh, go through with it uh, for very long. So um, I had to start using my, um, one of my higher faculties actually. Looking at it uh, now, I started using the, the reason factor. <laughs> the, the reason um, thinking. And I started thinking, what goal is bigger? Which goal um, is, is the one you want to go after? Is it losing weight and doing harm to your body? Or is it um, actually your goal, is it bigger to, to move to the US and spend a cool school year over there in, in Atlanta? So I said, well, I can, I can do that. I can prove them that I'm able, I'm, uh, I'm capable and I'm going to show them that I can gain some weight. So in the end, um, in July, I think I already got back to 48 kilos and this is uh, how I started uh, when, I, when I moved to the USA. Over there, obviously, I, um, I gained it all back, <laughs> that's what uh, people already uh, started commenting in the in the beginning oh you're gonna uh, g gain some weight over there but um, it was totally worth it I um, met a lot of great people I'm still friends with and um, that was that was the best medicine actually for me and um, a great uh, way to uh, gain self-confidence to um, get over um, live in another country, live abroad and um, yeah, this has shaped um, my life and um, this is why I also now live abroad. I live in Tenerife and um, I'm going to share some, uh, some more videos with you uh, how I got to move from Germany to Tenerife. This is another story I'm going to tell you. So, um, any questions? Just leave a comment below and um, yeah, I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.